I have one last thing before we move on to the Grand Canyon, and that's Frenchman Mountain. I know you don't do, do tours there, but Frenchman Mountain is an interesting block of rock that has the Grand Canyon section in it. And I've taken all five of those diagrams and enlarged it. This is where Frenchman Mountain is today, but this is where it started about 20 million years ago. Everything that's in Frenchman Mountain was on the other side of the Overton Arm. And I'm just going to show you these diagrams. Um, as Frenchman Mountain started to move, pre-17, located 40 miles east of its present location, and then it started to move to the west, and there's this outcrop of a uh, special kind of granite, and gravel from that outcrop was deposited on top of the Frenchman Mountain Block and sort of was riding on it piggyback. And that's part of the evidence we know that it didn't start out where we see it today. The only place it could have picked up this gravel is if it sat next to this outcrop of the granite. And these are the faults that are moving the block in this direction. You see the arrows on the faults right there? That's how that mountain is moving. So there's 14 to 13 million years ago. There's 13 to 12. It's actually moved across where the Virgin River is now. Here's another piece of evidence. There was gravel that came out of the Frenchman Mountain Block and got deposited here, and it's still there. So you know the Frenchman Mountain moved past that spot because gravel came out of it. And then you get the idea. This is 12 to 10 million years ago. And then this is where Frenchman Mountain is today. And here's the Las Vegas Valley shear zone where there's a big cut in the Earth's crust and everything here has been moving out in this direction. Isn't that cool? Um, I don't know if you ever get the chance to drive by Frenchman Mountain on your tours, but um, if you do, you could tell them that story. And of course, if I was doing it, I'd have plasticized copies of these things right here to just show folks.